Okay, YouTube. Just finished up. Get my ECU flash, Dino Tune with Chris Moore at Moore Mafia up here in Taylor, South Carolina. I came out at 192 um, horsepower. I have stock headers, the Acro Link Pipe, and Acro Slip On. It was uh, another 2020 here with me. Had a full Brox. Um, I was, I'm sorry, I also have a PO8 Sprint filter, Sprint PO8. And he has full Brox, Sprint F185. And he's also um, stretched with um, some gearing and stuff like that, which is what probably caused him to have slightly less horsepower than me. I think he was at like 191 and I was at 192 on pump gas. And then he went ahead and did a MR12 tune where he ended up at 202. Now he has a totally different setup than my bike. My bike is stock wheelbase, stock height. He's a slip on. I think he says he's about six, um, six inches out. But um, if we were to race in a drag race, he'd murder me just based on his setup and pretty much he probably really has a little more horsepower than me but it's it's being taken away in that chain and sprocket setup so if we had the same setup he'll probably put out more horses than me on the dyno but right now with my current setup i show more on the dyno but if we were to drag race or something of that nature he'd be quicker down the track but um I did a quick test ride on my bike. I was wanting to see um pretty much Chris wanted me to see if the um quick shifter was working. He um shortened the kill time for me and it does work. He did get that shortness night and day difference. I'm um test it out as I ride down the road, see see how it rides and I got, I'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know. I also, I'm going to show you some footage of the, the dyno tuning and ECU flashing and show you all of that stuff too. But um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Appreciate it. a decision whether I'm gonna ride through this or sit on the side of the road. I guess I'll figure out depending on how much it is if I'm gonna keep going or not. bike up up here about to get it ECU flash dyno tune see what the sucker makes say you got another 2020 coming in this morning too I'm gonna stick around and see what that guy makes too but um hey man I, I hope this thing puts out somewhere close to 190 close to two we'll see man I got that on um, three-quarter basically the acrolink pipe and the slip on on there hopefully I can push out somewhere close to close to two like I said, I think it's somewhere around 170 or so right now, man. Just from the way it feels. 
Guessing around the same one, I'm guessing he, he guessed 171. It's somewhere right around where my R1 is, which is at 170. Just from the way it feels, just from the <laughs> from a butt dyno, it's probably somewhere around 170, somewhere close in that range. 173.
yeah. On the two different um charts. See that? That's a one versus wow. Yeah. One spot he was at 9,500. The damn slip on makes more, and that's probably where it's a smaller header. Okay. Versus, and then you see it 6,500. The full exhaust no, the, what I say? Yeah, the, the full makes more than the slip on at 6,500, and at 9,500, the slip on makes more. But then you can see up top, you can barely tell, but the red line is definitely on top the whole rest of the way. Um. 